Welcome back to the channel, everybody. We have a really exciting video today. We are doing a really cool mod on the 2014 Ram 2500 that was on the channel just a couple videos ago. Uh, as you probably saw from the thumbnail, we are installing train horns. So these are uh, Union Pacific train horns. You can kind of see their logo there from Horn Blasters. Um, and then we come over here. This is an Air Max 150 PSI compressor, really nice. Uh, you can see it has the Air Max logo up there in, in all metal. It's really solid. Um, nice, nice uh, hose here for the tank. Go over here, and this is a three pound, uh, or um, yeah, three pound Air Max tank. <clears throat> it's uh, pretty, I mean, it seems like it's really, really high end, nice welds on it. We got uh, the uh, outlet to the uh, horns here. This is another outlet that's capped right now, but it can be used for something like uh, another hose for you know airing up tires. You get your switch here, pressure gauge. This is your um, your inlet, and then on the bottom side here, you got a bleed off valve. So really, really nice. It's got all the features you want. And uh, right now we're just kind of mocking everything up. So got a lot of wires on the ground right now and uh, it's been tested. So we know that it works and we're just kind of figuring out how we want to mount this thing because it only just came with about, this is like the only piece of wiring it came with. So um, we're going to mock it up here on the truck, probably put the tank on the cab side and the compressor. Um, I think we want to put it over on the passenger side here. I'll come around. So probably put the tank and compressor somewhere in this area underneath and then uh, coming around here to the back side took the spare tire out and hopefully you can see it'll be bright enough got this all opened up so we'll tap in and uh, put the horns in this vicinity we're gonna start off by mounting the tank first and as you can see here i'll show you what we're doing uh, this is the air max uh, tank and uh, it does have a bleed off and this is a, a twist to open bleed off here on the bottom side and um so we are going to essentially my arm is the frame we're going to mount the tank like this to the frame right so got to have enough room to be able to get our hand in there and be able to twist and open this bleed off so what we've done is we got some of these uh, brackets that we just made and i'll show you here what we're doing on the frame side where we're going to mount it Coming over here to the passenger side, we got um, right here is where the tank is going to go, and I'll show you here in a bit uh, what we've done. Basically, right here, sorry, let me get a little closer. We got four bolts, so these are straight through the frame on the back side. Uh, there will be a nut on these. You can see I can move this, um, this bolt here. So going to put those brackets um, on this side, so it basically gives an inch to hook the tank to and have room basically where my hands at right now to be able to get in there and twist open that bleed off valve. little update we got the compressor mounted here as you can see to the frame we just uh, self tapped them it's got four mounting points here and it is extremely solid got the tank mounted as well with those brackets that I showed you that we built before and uh, kind of a pain to get up and behind the tank to secure it but once we we're able to do that it is really really solid so Got this uh, half of it all mounted up. This is gonna obviously connect over to the tank. Right now we got all the wiring kind of laid out as you can see here. And then if you go to the back, we have the horns here ready to go. They're gonna go somewhere in this vicinity. We'll probably do these last. Uh, we're gonna start working on the wiring and clean it all up. Obviously we're gonna paint things, but I uh, just wanted to give an update once we get the uh, the wires in. We're gonna put a uh, kind of a plastic uh, like conduit type deal on it. Here, I'll show you. Gonna use this stuff here, flex tubing, and uh, we'll put that all around the wiring and secure it up uh, nicely into the truck so it stays clean.
So here's how we got through the firewall here. If you can see, there is this uh, plastic piece. Let me get a little closer. This is a really hard plastic and it's just solid. And then on the inside, which I'll show you here in a second, it has like almost a spongy uh, circle almost that you can see pretty visibly just right dead center. All we did was just poke the hole, uh, just a drill bit right through it here. And so we got our power, which is these two wires. These are gonna be power for the, um, uh, the compressor and the uh, horn switch and then these are going to be the load wires that we're running to the other side which will essentially um, connect to the switch as well to turn on the compressor and to trigger the horn right at the beginning here so we have two switches one for the compressor one for the horn uh, each switch just has two wires going to it. So one is essentially uh, a power that goes to the battery right now. Uh, each one of those has a power and then the other one is uh, load. So the, the power goes to the battery and then load on each one. Uh, you know, one goes to the compressor side and then the other one goes to the um, horn side. So those are essentially just trigger mechanisms for them. So those right here will be the pods with, uh, there'll be six switches and then these will be wired a lot cleaner, just one, two, three, five, six. So essentially they come from up here, run down here and they go under the pedals here. Let me get some light. As you can see that bundle right there, it goes up and into where, let's see, right there. Uh, if you have a ram, you'll see these two bolts. And then there is kind of, it's kind of a foamy color, uh, a feeling black colored uh, circle there. You can just drill right through it and you get straight through to the firewall into the engine bay. Once you go through the firewall here, you'll go, you'll just see these two wires. They come straight to the positive side. And mind you, this is kind of a temporary setup. Once that uh, pod system gets here, that'll kind of sit right here. There's a whole housing for that that just runs to your battery. And then essentially you just have to run uh, your load to the, the switch box that'll sit right here. So this is kind of temporary, but um, this will work if you just want to do it this way. So power comes from, from here to your battery and then you can see these other two wires right here the purple and the white is what we have um, for the load those run all the way under this heat shield over to the passenger side and you can kind of see them right here but uh, they just run um, under the passenger side through the fender liner completely clean down here not visible at all uh, they are right around this area and then they'll drop down uh, right here and run underneath the, uh, along the frame, which I'll show you here in a sec. All right, so right here, I'm right underneath the passenger side back door. We have the compressor. We just used Loctite and some self-tappers, and it is extremely, extremely secure. So uh, there's four, uh, two on bottom, two on top. Still have the uh, wiring here hidden in this black covering. It's all taped and zip tied nicely. Uh, power and ground from the compressor run over here to the relay, which is just tapped into the frame. Again, Loctite with a self tapper, really solid. End up making a uh, ground point. Let me see if I can get a good shot for it. Right here off the relay, uh, just grinded the, uh, the frame there a little bit to get some good clean metal and uh, just did our grounds right there. So we got the compressor right here, move along. Here is the air hose. Straight into the tank, you can see we can see our pressure gauge nicely. Uh, the longest part for us was getting these uh, mounts um, kind of made and in place. Unfortunately, uh, there's not a great system for this that uh, you can just purchase, so we had to make our own. Um, so. You can still get behind it here and actually release the uh, the pressure 
uh, if you need to, and uh, these will all be painted black. Uh, potentially going to get some stuff fabbed up and just weld onto the frame so it looks a little nicer, but it does work extremely solid. Uh, I, I don't see this thing coming loose at all with the Loctite and the, and the uh, way we bolted it on. Next side of the tank here, we got the air, ho air uh, outlet that goes to the horn. This is just capped. Uh, as I said before, you can add another hose to it if you want. Um, pressure switch up here. It's got a couple wires going out to it. One is your load, and the other one is uh, power, which is tied into uh, that main power line that we have running up to the battery that you kind of saw before. And I'll show you guys a diagram here uh, when I'm not laying on the ground of how this wiring kind of works. Uh, it's a little complicated, but uh, once you kind of have it mapped out, it's not so hard to see. Hard to see here, but we have the exhaust right above me, as you can see, and uh, we have the air hose. It's all taped up, so... Um, you know, it shouldn't have any issues. And then we have it zipped, zip tied to the frame, uh, keeping it as far away from the exhaust as we possibly can. You can see it kind of runs along here. Uh, runs all the way back, which we'll go back to the horns here in a second, but we just kept it as high as we could. The, the air hose and the, um, essentially it's just the load uh, switch to, you know, to trigger the horn. So that's all that runs back here to the horns, as you can see right there. So let me get back to the horns. Here at the horns, we took the spare tire out and just mounted it to the uh, spare tire bracket, just using Loctite and self tappers. As you can see, shaking it is really, really solid. So what you have here is that load uh, that goes to um, the switch just to trigger it. And then the green one is just a ground that we uh, grinded off on that frame a bit and uh, tapped it into there. So just a ground and your load to trigger it. And then the air hose, like I said before, just right along the top, hooked to the frame and it hooks right in here. So we just used our heat gun, uh, heated up the the hose a bit and it uh, slid right on and it is very solid. So that is kind of the whole setup from underneath. And uh, as you can tell, very clean, uh, it looks pretty cool. We had to put them at an angle just uh, with the way that that uh, bracket works without really taking apart the bracket. Uh, just in case these need to come off, we wanted to make sure that we could still put a spare tire in there if you know the next owner may want it. I was turning on the compressor in the horn. Uh, like I said before, we have these two switches here. Here's the horn. Uh, and again, this is just a temporary setup. The the new, or the S-Pod, uh, I think there's six switches that are gonna be put into this area. These will be really, really, I mean, they're wired in nicely, but as far as looks code, they're still hanging out here. So uh, it'll be changed up when that uh, um, pod system gets here. But regardless, uh, the compressor, and the, they're just on these switches. So right now you have to turn the horn off. You flip it over, it'll stay on until it until you flip it back off but the compressor uh as i said before you just got power and load there and uh, you just flick it and it turns on so we're sitting in the truck here and i just want to kind of show in the truck you can kind of hear it uh, i'll kind of be quiet for a second So as you can hear while you're sitting in the truck, it is a little bit loud, but it, it really only runs for a short period of time. So I'm gonna go over here to the side, uh, the passenger side, and uh, kind of show you. Um, as I said before, this is set at 150 pounds. So there it is running down, and I mean, we're really close to it, and uh, obviously fairly loud. So you can hear it running in the background there, but it'll fill up to about 150 PSI, and then when it drops below 100, it'll automatically kick on. All right, go for it. So uh, that is all I have for you guys on this video. Uh, horns work great as you heard. Compressor and tank installed nicely on the truck. Uh, really pretty easy to wire actually. You know, you just, uh, you know, just kind of look at the um, template I threw up on the screen earlier, and it, it's it's not as bad as it looks. You know, that relay is kind of your main center point. Make sure you get power ground, um, run your switches with power and load, and, uh, you know, you'll, you should have no issues whatsoever. So not much of a tutorial video, but I did want to kind of point out to some of the, how we did it because there wasn't a whole lot out there on the internet of how to do these things. Um, unfortunately, 
I wasn't able to make a true tutorial because we were kind of figuring out ourselves. So, um, but it's not too bad. And I uh, hope this helped out anybody that is purchasing one of these systems or curious about them. They work really well for the price of them. I'm very impressed. Uh, I was, I thought this would be actually a lot quieter. It's a lot deeper sound. Uh, I figured it would kind of be a high pitched train horn. It has some deep kind of thud to it. So really cool. And I've enjoyed doing this little project. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. We'll catch you on the next one. Take it easy.